My name is Martin Schulz. I'm a solicitor. Advocate. Advocate. Okay. I've been in Ireland for 19 years now, and I am a solicitor for 10 years. I'm in Ireland 19 years and solicitor for 10 years. Uh, uh, okay. uh, so if I if I switch to Polish, we're still fine. Uh, okay. My, no. my okay, super. Um, can anybody hear? Can everybody hear me? Okay, I can speak louder if you want, so I can manage. Yeah, uh, <laughs> okay. Just let me know, okay? I'll speak louder, no problem. Um, I can, I'm going to tell you today, I've been asked by Olga to tell you today about how to run a business in Ireland, okay? It's simple, seriously. Um, the revenue, so tax office is friendly. Uh, I'll tell you today how to run a business in Ireland, how it's simple. It's simple and uh, the so revenue is friendly, tax office is friendly. Uh, um, switch to the next one. Mm -hmm. Space. Yay. And the best, or the, sorry, the most simple way to start a business is self-employment. Okay. All you have to do is to register with, I can email it to everybody. I can email it to everybody. No need to take photos, okay? Um, you, you don't need to make any notifications to anybody. You just run a business. Start selling and start buying, okay? The only notification you have to make, and it can be within a year, is to the revenue. Okay. Uh, щоб uh, працювати, не треба нічого. Ви uh, можете бути част, uh, особистим підприємцем. Uh, і uh, єдине, uh, що ви маєте повідомити, це протягом uh, одного року uh, на ревеню до тей. Це все. That's it. Це все. Okay. Так. Yes. Is this for any kind? Is this for any kind of business? Most. I mean, if you want to sell or import alcohol, guns or things like this, yes, that's a bit more complicated. That's complicated. That's a bit more complicated. Okay. No. It's good to have a separate bank account for business, but you don't have to. On a personal account. No problem. Yes, no problem. Okay. Now, it looks more serious if you have a separate business account. Okay. It just looks serious, proper. But you don't have to. Okay. Now, um, so the form is called TR1. You can download it from Revenue. It's one page, and off you go. All right. You get a letter from the revenue saying that your PPS is now your tax number. That's it. Okay. If you want to have employees, if you want to employ people, your PPS use is your employer registered number. Okay. If your turnover is greater than I can't remember fifty thousand euro, and you have to register for VAT. Your PPS is your VAT number. Uh, VAT? Uh, VAT is a podatok. 
uh, і what number, uh, number what, це ось що використовується для бізнесів, прибыль uh, 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 яких більше 50 тисяч євро. What is value added tax? Okay. Um, Под, податок на додану вартість. Okay. Yes. Yes. No, no, no. You can go immediately. But you can not later. Not later than. Okay. So I was that when you go to revenue, for example, at the end of the year, yeah, you pay taxes for the previous year. You pay tax for the previous year, for the previous year, and you pay advance for the next year what you think will be your tax for the next year. Yeah, and also I was reading some like uh, mentioned that if you will uh, mention that uh, next year you uh, in advance pay, for example, the same uh, amount which you pay for the previous year, and at the end of the second year you will your uh, the, uh, taxes will be higher. You will have some problems. No, I, you see, I am not a tax expert. Okay, so I am not the best person to ask this question. But if it's you, if it's if you paid the same amount that you paid last year and you pay advance for next year, that's not a problem. You will not have a problem. You just pay, you top up the the actual tax that you have to pay. That's my understanding of it, and my accountant tells me this. As well, but, uh... um, in any event, I said revenue here, tax office here, is friendly. Okay? And the aim of the tax office, so what they want, is compliance. So they want everybody to pay taxes. They don't want to, they don't need, they don't want to give you penalties. They don't want to give you uh, trouble. They want you to pay taxes. So if you did something wrong, they come to you, they'll say, oh, listen, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. Oops, sorry, I pay and that's it, right? That's, you know, more or less, okay? That's how nice it is here in Ireland with taxes, right? So if you, you have a, you probably have a PPS number by now and an address in Ireland is a proof of address, so um, that's not a major issue. Um, I'll go back to the I'll go back to self-employment. I forgot one thing. If you want a name for your business, okay, just a name. Um, you can register it with can I edit? This? Uh, no. Okay, don't leave it. Um, CRO.ie, and you register a business name. Okay? CRO.ie. Did you get the marker? Uh, I don't think it, we have. Okay, to... don't worry. Don't worry. CRO.ie. Mm -hmm. It costs 15 euro and you can get a name. A business name okay it's called a business name now um i myself have because i'm a solicitor i have to run my business person okay as self-employed but i have for this four business names okay rostra solicitors i also have part of europe services for translations i also have um your mediator a third one because I also do mediations. Nothing stopping me. Okay? It's still me, but I have different stickers. Sticker here, sticker here, sticker here. And it's absolutely fine. This part of my business is called Rostra Solicitors. This part of my translation business is called Heart of Europe. And it's, it's all fine. It's still me. It's still one tax number behind all this. Okay? Trademark, trademark is different. Business name is not trademark. It's something something else and something different. Okay? 
trademark is um, business name is not um, you don't register it with patent office trademark is registered with patent office and trademark has to consist of graphics and wording okay business name it's just words business name it's just words no you don't it does you don't have to register it you may but you don't have to so you may run a business i may run a business marching schultz the master of universe but i don't have to register master of universe anywhere just i can but i don't have to Huh? Sorry, I, I, uh, 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 to, uh, <laughs> uh, one potrima and parade cosmo rechina. Uh, to, to, uh, cosmo paragrafu, prostor idea. Mm -hmm. Uh, idea of Tomo show, uh, cosmo ludina može se estuate decilka business. Це одна людина, але на CRO, CRO Dota E можна uh, у Марчина є чотири бізнеси. І вони по-різному називаються. Це як стікер. І вони мають різні назви. Жінка запитала про торгову марку. І обов... назва бізнесу і торгової марки – це різні речі. Торгову марку треба реєструвати окремо. І це не потрібно реєструвати. Це якщо ви хочете, ви можете зареєструвати. Але ось ця назва бізнесу – це не торгова марка. Окей. Okay. Um, so that's self-employment, the easiest thing on the planet, a company, okay, if um, the advantage is company is better because it's only 12 and a half percent tax, okay, uh, if you're self-employed it's 20 or 40, okay, I'll get to that later there is a second powerpoint about that okay company now it's 12 and a half percent tax but it's a bit more complicated to run it okay you have to properly register it again cro.ie i can do it for you okay um and the a company there are in ireland there are a lot of kinds of companies. The most popular are limited or designated activity company. Простіше за все, це бути самозайнятим, і ви можете це робити, але компанія краще в тому плані, що має менші податки. Компанія це 12,5% самозайнятість від 20 до 40. І є окрема презентація про це. Є два, але для того, щоб створити компанію, треба трохи більше уроки щось зробити. Тобто зайти на СРО і там зареєструвати. Є два типи компаній. Є багато, більше, багато різних видів компаній. Але два найбільш розповсюджені – це limited, обмежені, з обмеженою відповідальністю та designated activity, типу, з якась конкретна зайнятість. Now, DAC is also a limited company, but it has a very narrow line of business. Okay, for instance, Ryanair is a DAC, right? We only fly planes, right? Uh, one of, I sound terrible. I also have a limited company, right? It's a normal limited company. My limited company can do anything, right? Just like a human being, it can do anything. It can buy, sell. I have a great business idea, off we go. If Ryanair, Ryanair has a great business idea, they have to set up a new company for that business. Тобто дизайнери DAC, Designated Activity Company, це компанія, яка займається конкретним видом діяльності. Це теж компанія з обмеженою відповідальністю, але не може вона займатися чим завгодно. 
Якщо, наприклад, тренер захоче займатися чимось, що не пов'язане з літаками і перевезенням, їм потрібно відкривати іншу DAC-компанію або використовувати іншу компанію з обмеженою відповідальністю. Yes. Or must be, uh, there, no, Ukrainians can be owners. A limited company must have at least one EU resident mm. person. Now, you are EU resident. Now, you reside legally in Ireland. You are EU resident. Now, you can be a director in a limited company and it's fine. For now? Only for now. We'll see. We, yeah, for now, we'll see later. I nobody knows what's going to happen later, okay? А, тобто питання було про те, що чи має бути володар компанії, ні, чи має він бути європейцем, чи може українець бути? відповідь така, що принаймні один одна людина в компанії повинна бути резидентом, резидентом Європейського Союзу. Uh, і ви є резидентами Європейського Союзу. Але ми не знаємо, як що буде. What will happen if after one year uh, a person will stop being uh, Irish resident? We are getting into immigration law, which is not my best thing. Okay, I, I'll, 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 I'll get better on immigration law, I promise. But for the moment, um, I don't know. But uh, Irish immigration law has a number of opportunities for business people, and has a number of um, work permit or work visas. And there are work visas for high-skilled employees. And there are visas for just employees. Okay, I am sure that sooner or later, if when the war ends, okay, um, I don't think the Irish government will tell each and every one of you now. Thank you very much, for all. Right? Not going to happen. Right? They not going to happen. Right? And even if something like this happens, there will be the door will be open for everybody to apply for work permit on one or other basis, okay? Тобто, після одного року мало ймовірно, що Ірландія, не після одного року, а коли закінчиться війна, Ірландія, скоріше все, не скаже, будь ласка, виїжджайте з країни. По з приводу законів імміграції, то там є декілька віз, є Uh, highly skilled uh, – це uh, uh, висококваліфіковані uh, візи, а також, Doctors, є просто, uh, so а також є просто робочі візи. Тобто, я впевнена, що це буде вирішено добре. І ці дні я вирішував людей, щоб працювати. Це важко знайти кого-то, щоб працювати ці дні. Um, it's employees market. There's plenty of, I believe, there's plenty of work around. Тобто навіть він стикався з тим, що важко знайти людей, які будуть працювати. Тому він каже, що скоріше за все, типу, ринок праці він буде відкритий для вас. Every company must have two people to run it. A director and a secretary. Okay. If there are there can be more than one director. There can be five, six, fifteen, twenty, whatever. How big is your business? Okay. But if there is one director, there must be one more secretary. If there are two directors, one can be a secretary also. So director and secretary, just director. 
sorry, could you repeat? So, okay. uh, two directors, one secretary? Is yes, one director and one secretary. If there are more than one director, one of them can be a secretary at the same time. Ah, I see. Okay. Uh, тобто кожна компанія має uh, мати як найменше дві людини. Uh, це має директор і секретар. Компанія може мати більше людей uh, і більше директорів. Uh, але на кожного директора потрібен бути секретар. Докладно так. If there are two directors, one of them can be a secretary. If there is only one director, we need a second person to be a secretary. Right. Okay. Um, now, that's people who run a company, okay? People who own a company can be completely different people, right? So, if I have too much money and you have great ideas, I give you money, I own the company, but you are the director, right? You do the work, I take the rewards, okay? That's how capitalism apparently works, okay? But um, usually it's the same people who are owners and directors. In, in English, uh, they say that you wear different hats, okay? So it's a director today, it's a owner, shareholder today, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's one person but doing different jobs at the same time. So when you sign documents, you sign the name and then director, then the name, shareholder, right? A company must have an address, a real address, like can't be a post office, can be a post box. Now, um, it can be a virtual office, which is basically an office with 700 companies in there, right? It works, you can register a company, but revenue doesn't like it, obviously, right? So it's difficult for a company registered in a virtual office to get a VAT number, okay? And to get a VAT number, in uh, in Ireland, you have to show that the business is going. You can't get that number on, the, on day one, on the first day. You have to show that the business is going. So you have to show bank account, invoices, purchase, sale, and so on. Then you get a VAT number. I can tell you why if you if you're interested to hear. Uh, VAT number, uh, що є номером для uh, податку додаткової вартості, uh, треба uh, для ревеню uh, сайту показувати, що у вас uh, насправді є бізнес, що у вас є продажі, що у вас є чеки, є банк аккаунт і надходить туди uh, прибуток. VAT is automated in our Okay, so if you make a return, you send to the revenue, I bought this, sold this, this is my VAT. Okay, people don't check it, computer does it, right? So if you send, I sold this, I bought this, revenue has to refund VAT to me, they will, no questions asked, three days, right? So unfortunately, a lot of people took advantage of it, right? got that number, asked for a refund on the first day, got a hundred thousand euro refund and disappeared. Right? So you have to show to the revenue that it's a real company. Uh, what number? Uh, in automatizovaný uh, i automat... Hmm. When you send um, returns, so when you tell the revenue how much VAT you have to pay or you are owed a refund, they do it automatically. If you do a refund, it's automatically automatic and they call it these dollars. І багато і деякі люди вони користуються цим і 
замовляють рефан, повернення і отримують свої великі гроші і зникають повністю. Тому, щоб цього не було, ревеню вимагає те, щоб ви показували, що у вас є бізнес, що ви не зникнете кудись. Окей, so it's more difficult now. Don't do it. Okay, um, sorry. Here, okay. Um, minimum share capital in a limited company is one euro. Okay, so you can set up a company with one euro right, that is worth and owns one euro only. And running a limited company is not very complicated. It's, I suppose, in Poland, I don't know about Ukraine, in Poland, running a self employment business is more difficult than running a limited company here. Окей, okay, seriously. Tax and everything. Мінімальний капітал компанії це 1 євро. І так сталося, що мати компанію з обмеженою відповідальністю це легше, ніж бути самовлаштованим. Самозайнятим. Польщі. Польщі. Окей. Не розумію. Розумієм, але не розмовляєм. Докладні те. Окей. Ну, Ольга питала мене також сказати, що це основна частина, окей? Якщо ви хочете робити бізнес, якщо ви маєте бізнес-ідею, це все добре, окей? Ну, перед тим, як я дійду. One, two, sorry, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, I didn't change the numbers. Of course, when you run a business, you need a place, okay? It can be your home address if you run something from... Excuse me? No worries. Don't worry. If you run something from your laptop, if you run, run something from your computer, that's absolutely fine. You can be from home. But if you want a coffee shop, if you want a coffee shop, if, if you want a... You know, some business. Yes. Of course. Look, do your thing. Um, can I? Okay. So you need you need a place to run a business. Okay, you need a shop. You need a warehouse. You need different things. Okay. Um, if you if you need a warehouse or you need a shop, getting um, a lease, forget about buying. I don't own my own place, okay, my own office. Um, but I wish you all the best, but I still don't own it. Um, you have to rent or lease, and that is a bit complicated, okay. You will probably need a lawyer, solicitor for it. You're most welcome. Okay, but uh, you can do it on your own sometimes, but uh, the problem is you don't know what you're renting. And you, if you sign the contract, it's five years and you don't know what you have. It has to be checked from legal end, okay, from the legal end. So you're most welcome, okay, to, to check it. So that's another part I did not speak about, okay. Now, тобто, якщо ви працюєте за комп'ютером, це все добре. Але, напевно, вам потребується якесь приміщення, офіс. І забудьте, будь ласка, про купівлю чогось. Марчин не має ніякої нерухомості. Нерухомості мам, офіса не має. Дом, дом, мам, офіса не має. Нерухомість є, нема офісу. Замість того, щоб купувати, це або брати в оренду, або в розстрочку. І для того, щоб це зробити, вам 
це складніше і вам потрібен е, юрист. І Марчин може вам допомогти. Um, now, if you are, if you don't, if you are not the business type, and if you just want to get a job, um, the basics of employment law, right? A few words about employment law. What are your basic rights and what are not? Для того, щоб вам потрібно знати бази закону про працю. Um, per week, 48 hours, max, okay? Now, it, it, but it's 48 hours on average in two months. So I can do 55 hours this week and next week, but it has to be average of 48 in a period of two months, in every period of two months. Не можна середня кількість годин у тиждень повинна бути 48 годин. Але це не означає, що у якийсь конкретний тиждень не може бути більше, ніж 48. Це правило таке, що протягом двох місяців середня зайнятість повинна не перевищувати 48 годин на тиждень. Тобто одного тижня можна працювати 56. Але і другого можна 56, але вже інші тижні потрібно бути менше, так, щоб середня не перевищувала себе місяць. Yes. yes, a week. Yes, maximum average. Maximum? Сорок місяць. Форті. Пер вік on average okay so 55 55 20 and 20 that's all okay that's all right that's less than 40 employment law yes that's um organization of working time act 1995 Monday and Tuesday Right? There has to be 11 hours break. So between you finish and start, there has to be 11 hours. No exceptions. Okay? Між тим, перериви між годинами праці повинні бути як мінімум 11 годин. Тобто, якщо понеділок завершуєш працювати, то починаєш працювати вівторок, обов'язково не менш ніж 11 годин. Okay. So, if you finish on Monday at 9 p.m. Right? and start on Tuesday at 7, that's wrong. Okay? Now, I'll tell you later what to do about it. Um, once a week, there has to be 24 hours plus 11 hours. So one day off plus 11 hours. Okay? Or 48 hours plus 11 hours every two weeks. I can email it to everybody. Or Olga, Olga can email it to everybody. Раз на тиждень повинна бути перерва як мінімум 24 плюс 11 годин. Тобто це один цілий день плюс 11 годин. А, або, або на два тижні повинна бути 48 плюс 11. Окей. Okay. Um, um, 24. 24 or 48. It doesn't have to be Sunday or doesn't have to be Saturday, right? It can be Tuesday and Wednesday. It doesn't matter, right? If it's Sunday, if it's weekend, if it's Thursday or whatever. Once a week, not weekend. It's fine, it's, it's great if it's weekend, but it doesn't have to be. 
це не обов... цей перерив, це не обов'язково має бути на вихідних, субота, неділя. Це може бути будь-який день тижня. А не може бути і в суботу? Так, може. Може. Um, work on at night and work on Sundays must be paid extra. Okay? Праця вночі або праця у неділю має бути оплачувана додатково. But it doesn't say how much. Так, uh, when, when does the night begin? 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. 10 вечора до 6 ранку. Okay. So, uh, 10 вечора до 6 ранку. Again? No. No, no, no. If you're self-employed, you can work 48... If my client wants me... You, if you're self-employed, you're self-employed. <laughs> you're not... That's for employees only. If you... Of course you can. Of course you can. Of course. Uh, so, but the funny thing is, Sunday paid extra, but doesn't say how much. So, 50 cents? Fine. It's extra? It's extra. Right? Not fair. I agree. But that's what it is. Okay? Very often, uh, the minimum... Minimum in Ireland is 10 euro 50 at the moment, okay? So very often a contract will say, You're, you are paid 11 per hour. That includes Sunday and night work. Трюк в такий, що в законодавстві не сказано, скільки додатково треба платити вночі та понеділях. І мінімум Мінімум оплата – це 10,5 євро за годину. І що часто можна побачити, що в контракті буде написано 11 євро, бо екстра може бути пів євро. Тому воно каже, один, контракт каже 11 євро, включно з неділями та може бути ночами. Including Sunday and night work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Um, your holiday is four weeks. Okay, and it's weeks, not not twenty days. It's four weeks for some reason. Don't ask me why. Again, nineteen ninety-five. It's four weeks. Um, contract. Um, umowa. Uh, Договір. Again? Договір. Договір. Окей, okay. your contract. In five days from starting work, you must get a very simple statement of basic terms. Okay, so who is your employer? Where do you work? How much you're paid? How many hours? Okay, just that. In, within first five days. Uh, протягом перших п'яти днів uh, працівник потрібен отримати uh, прости uh, інформацію, uh, інформацію uh, або uh, форму про те, uh, хто його найняв, uh, де він працює, яка в нього зарплатня і скільки він працює. Окей. Окей. Ну, ну, тому що вакансії, вакансії, Um, that's statutory, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't have to because it's 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 in the act. Okay, so I don't. So, but that's basic. That's the five days. Now, from the day you start, within two months, your employer has to give you a proper contract. Okay, which is a few pages then, and then it says about holiday and this, that, and another. Okay. <laughs> Тобто те, про що це говорило, це п'ять перших днів, але протягом перших двох місяців праця, той, хто дає працю, повинен надати контракт, в, котором, в якому вже буде всі деталі вказано, що ось є вихід вакансії. 
відпустка. Дякую. Відпустка, зарплатня і все інше. Все again? That's the best. That's the idea. Yes, that's. Of course. Of course. Yes, and it's very often. Unfortunately, it happens very often. That after. Actually, today can be interview tomorrow. They can say, okay, come to the club. Yeah. Yeah. Not any extra papers or just. Yes. Yes. That's that's how it works. No passport. Just you give me your PPS. Nobody asks you about passport here. Okay, like <clears throat> you don't have to carry an ID with you here. I still have it. Sorry, I'm I'm Polish. I still carry a full wallet of ID and this that and a driving license and all that. Yeah, there you go. Right, I've got one there. Right, uh, I I still can't get over it, but. <clears throat> Guards here, or the police guardie here. Um, you see, Ireland is a village country, right? Dublin is different. Dublin is a capital, bloody blah, it's big city. Of Dublin, it's a country, it's a village, right? There is a local guarda who knows everybody, right? You have an address that goes Mon uh, Monaster Boys County Louth, Paddy Monaster Boys County Louth, right? There's 25 houses. In monastery boys, and I got the clients. That's a, that's a true story. He didn't get letters from me, right? One day he got the postman and said, "Why, why don't I get letters? What's your name?" Paddy. Ah, and he started getting letters from tomorrow, right? That's how it works in Ireland. I I know that's how it works now. Houses don't have numbers in villages. Like, you know, everybody knows everybody, so like... Yeah, it's similar yeah. situ situation like in Ukraine, it's more town, situation similar to... Okay, <laughs> no, there you go, but, but you see, the postman knows everybody, so why not, right? So, for the purpose of getting a job, you don't need to even send a passport, because you need only a PPS, a number PPS. І взагалі в Ірландії така система, що вам не потрібно з собою мати IT-карточку або паспорт, тому що їх не питають. І взагалі в Ірландії це більша сільська країна. Це Дублін, отаке велике місто відносно, але якщо виїхати за нього, то там багато сел, багато навіть будинки не мають якихось номерів. І тому... Там є місцева гарда, яка всіх знає. Є місцеві поштарі, які розносять по іменах. І вони знають людей і так далі. Another... No, окей. One important thing is um, Employment Equality Act. Okay, that's an act against discrimination in employment. Okay, employer cannot discriminate on those grounds. So I can't pick and choose. I prefer men. I prefer women. I prefer marriage. I prefer gay. I prefer straight. I prefer Catholics or I prefer Protestants. Right? Can't do it. That's, those are the grounds that are um, prohibited. Now, I can prefer tall people or short people, right? I can prefer bold or long hair, right? But I can't prefer white or black, right? However strange it is. Є акт для рівності працевлаштування, який який проти дискримінації, і є дев'ять категорій, за якими дискримінація не дозволена. Це гендер, жінка, чоловік чи небінарні люди. Це заміжні, чи ви маєте одружені, чи одружені, чи ви гей, чи ви якою ви релігії та інше. So, gender? Marital status, married or not, mm -hmm. uh, gender, men, women, 
fluid, whatever, uh, family status, children or no children, right? For instance, or um, sexual orientation, goes without saying, religion, age. Nobody puts age on the CV in Ireland. Almost nobody puts a photograph on a CV in Ireland. Mm. Ah, really? <laughs> the only photographs I'm getting, uh, the only CVs with photographs I get are either Polish or recently Ukrainian. <laughs> right? Nobody else puts a photo and nobody else puts age on the, on the CV. Not important. Right? Not important. And then if you put age, you you are open to you know disqualification. Of, of course, some people prefer young and beautiful to old and ugly, right? For instance. Why not? Some some do, right? Or some prefer the old and experienced to the young and stupid, right? You put your age in there and you kind of you're out there it's very easy to then oh i don't like this one. No, that's too old that's too young don't don't put your age one question just a topic for example you during the preparation of cv yeah, yeah? so uh, actually in ukraine it also was worldwide and everywhere we put the start of beginning of work in some company in the end do it's necessary to write it here or just you just mentioned the three year work here three year work here I would put year, start year, end year. I wouldn't put month even. Yeah, just, uh, and or, also, for example, the graduation, date of yeah. graduation. It's necessary to put the... Uh, I would. So I would. Same, it's the same... Almost, yes, it uh, is. <laughs> but, you, but, but you see, you've got very often name, date of birth, address. Right? At the very beginning. Don't put your age. You don't have to. Of course, if I want to figure out how old you are, I'll do it from when you started work and when you graduated i can figure it out okay but don't put your age no need disability is another one it's a bit tricky because if you are disabled um your employer must provide help for you to work as normal okay but the help is not is limited to the employer's um, size or capabilities, okay? If it's a big employer, they have more obligation to help a disabled person. If it's a small employer with small number of employees and not enough money, uh, the obligation is smaller, okay? Race, race includes nationality. Also, oh, race is a very, um, has a very wide definition. So race, it's not only color, it's not, but it's also nationality. Okay, so when I put an advert for a job, I can't say I'm looking for a Polish person to work in my office. All right? But, but I can say that I'm looking for a person who speaks Polish. I'm looking for a skill not nationality. I can have a Chinese person who speaks Polish. I don't care. Right? And that's here. If, if somebody, you know, I can have a, I can have a, a, a Chinese person who speaks Irish. I don't care. Right? Just, I'm looking for skills, not nationalities. That's why that's an un, unreasonable or prohibited ground for discrimination. And membership of traveler community doesn't refer to any of us here. Travelers, do you know what travelers are? Who travelers are? Yeah, uh, maybe I can explain it. A little bit like Cigani. It's Irlands, who have no home, and they live together on the streets, in the palace, and maybe they can go from place to place. Okay. Trochę jak cygań, ale tylko mm. trochę. Ale e, bo e, e, cygani, cyganie in our part of Europe, they look different, as in they are darker, black hair. And mm -hmm. uh, travelers in Ireland, they look Irish. Okay, so that's the difference. But they they are a separate group for the purpose of it, ethnic even. Okay.
То я просто проітерую 9 груп. Це гендер, це одружений, неодружений, це стан родини, чи є в тебе діти, чи немає, та інше. Сексуальна орієнтація, релігія, вік, інвалідність, раса, раса включна з національністю, та чи є ти частиною травеле спільноти. А всі інші категорії, по ним можна дискримінувати. Довге, Дякую. Right? That's called victimization, right? And in many acts, it's prohibited. In Organization of Working Time Act, in Health and Safety at Welfare and, and Welfare at Work Act. If you complain about safety at work and something, an employer does something to you, as in moves you to a worse job, moves you to a night shift or moves you to a day shift and you don't want it. Um, I don't know, cuts your hours. There are many ways of making your life difficult, right? That's not allowed, okay? We'll talk about how to work with it. Закон забороняє переслідування з приводу праці. Якщо одного тижня вам сказали працювати 56 годин на тиждень, і ви, звісно, зробили жалобу, на цього працедателя, то а наступного тижня цей працедатель дає вам 5 годин на тиждень, тобто ви зовсім не працюєте, і ви не хочете, щоб ви пішли таким чином, не він вас звільнив, а ви пішли, то проти цього є закон. Тобто такого переслідування не потрібно бути. Я вибачаю про це спілення тут. Um, for instance, if you make a complaint about safety at work and your employer says, you know what, you don't like it, fine, go home, see you next week, right? That's penalization, right? If you make a complaint about um, being treated differently because of race, gender, sexual orientation, religion, the nine grounds, and from next week you're treated bad, you're treated differently, That's victimization, right? That's not allowed. We'll get to what to do with it. <clears throat> If you make a complaint, always make it in writing. Always. Okay? Якщо ви робите скаргу, робіть її обов'язково на письмі. Uh, writing means uh, paper or email or paper, email, fax, pigeon, whatever. Тобто може паперово, можна імейлом, але так, щоб це можна було показати. Okay. The problem always is you say you were treated badly, your employer says, no, nah, never. And Right? It, 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 it's a problem. If you do a complaint in writing, I'm sorry about that. I thought I turned it off. Um, if you make a complaint in writing, at least there is a, something to show, right? I made a complaint. Uh, що вас, бо з вами погано ставилися. Без нього в суді просто ви кажете, ось до мене погано ставилися, а це влаштувач, він каже, та ні, і вас немає тут. Я знаю, це довгий адрес, але не дуже допомогло. 
workplace relations dot ie um, this is the best place to find the information about employment law okay and this is the the place where you complain about your employer um, breaking your rights or breaching your rights okay this is where you complain um, there is a very nice PDF form completed online, hit the button, and off it goes. All right? Mm -hmm. um, they also, I checked it yesterday, there is a, also information in Ukrainian uh, on the website. So whatever you need really is there. Equally, if you are an employer, you want to go there and find out what you have to do for your employees, right? So it works really both ways. Uh, yes, I workplace relation. Uh, відносини на робочому місці. Uh, і там є форма для скарг, яку ви можете заповнювати, вказуючи uh, роботодавця. І там є інформація українською теж. І як праця влаштовувач, ви теж можете зайти туди, щоб подивитись, що ваші працівники про вас написали. Okay. Um, workplace relations does two things. Either inspection or adjudication. Adjudication is like court. Right? Adjudicator, it's not a judge, but he does the job of a judge in employment cases. Right? Um, inspection, WRC send somebody to your employer to go through the records and make sure that you're paid and so on and so forth. Okay, so they do it for you. It takes longer, not guaranteed, and you don't get, if, if it's inspection, uh, you don't get compensation. Really, okay? If it's adjudication, you can get um, compensation for your employer breaching your rights. Uh, adjudication? Судове uh, решение. Uh, yes. Є два можливих варіанти. Це інспекція або судове рішення. І коли інспекція, ви не отримуєте компенсацію за порушення закону про відносно до працівників, а судове рішення ви можете отримати компенсацію за роботодавця, який до вас погано ставився. Окей. So, um, look, if you uh, if you come into any troubles there, uh, I do, you're free to, please feel free to call the office, okay, and pop in for a consultation, all right, I, I'll be happy to help and tell you if it's a case or not, all right, um, so, what can I do for you, set up a limited company, I can prepare a shareholders agreement, so agreement between owners of the company, okay? Um, I can do a virtual office, so you set up a company and all the post comes to my office, I email it to you, all right? That's, that's, that's doable. Uh, other formalities when running companies and uh, preparing business contracts and um, also lease if it's, um, if you are starting a business and want to rent a shop or something come over okay to marcin i jego kompania może dopomogti z z zrobleniem albo kompanii z obmeżoną odpowiedzialnością albo DAC to fokusowana kompania z fokusowana galuzi pracy Також він може допомогти з контрактом для, якщо декілька людей мають компанію, також з віртуальним офісом і взагалі з тим, як правильно, як компанію робити, як її 
перечувати з нею. Також, якщо вам потрібні контракти типу розстрочка для чогось, Мартін може бути. І контракти для працівників. І контракти по працівництві. Окей, so for employees and employers, both ways, uh, obviously not in the same case. Um, and health and safety to employers um, also we can advise on. Um, I very often, it's my main job, do compensation for accidents. So injuries, road traffic accidents or accidents at work and so on okay um so if you if you get the job and if you if the job isn't good and you get injured at work give me a call all right which i don't want you to get injured but if you do get me give me a call uh також вони дають раду про по здоров'ю та безпеці на роботі, тому якщо на роботі або ви, або ваші працівники отримали якусь щось травму. вами травму, mm -hmm. то будь ласка, звертайтесь до Марчина, він не хоче, щоб такого трапилось, а якщо, але якщо трапиться, mm -hmm. то він може допомогти. Мій uh, номер. Um, I have a website, it's not ready as purist.ie. Uh, uh, say website? Uh, I have a website, but website, purist.ie. But he doesn't have a question. Скажите, вопрос такой. Uh, panels 